In geometry, the hyperplane separation theorem is a theorem about disjoint convex sets in n-dimensional Euclidean space. There are several rather similar versions. In one version of the theorem, if both these sets are closed and at least one of them is compact, then there is a hyperplane in between them and even two parallel hyperplanes in between them separated by a gap. In another version, if both disjoint convex sets are open, then there is a hyperplane in between them, but not necessarily any gap. An axis which is orthogonal to a separating hyperplane is a separating axis, because the orthogonal projections of the convex bodies onto the axis are disjoint. The hyperplane separation theorem is due to Hermann Minkowski. The hahn banach separation theorem generalizes the result to topological vector spaces. A related result is the supporting hyperplane theorem. In geometry, a maximum margin hyperplane is a hyperplane which separates two clouds of points and is at equal distance from the two. The margin between the hyperplane and the clouds is maximal. See the article on support vector machines for more details. Topic: <laughs> Statements and proof. The proof is based on the following lemma. Proof of lemma: let delta equals inf x x element of k display style delta equals inf x mid x in k let x j display style x underscore j be a sequence in k such that x j delta display style x underscore j to delta note that x i plus x j to display style x underscore i plus x underscore j to is in K since K is convex and so x i plus x j two four delta two display style x underscore i plus x underscore j carrot two g q four delta carrot two since x I minus x j two equals two x i two plus two x j two minus x i plus x J two two x I two plus two x J two minus four delta two zero Display style x underscore i x underscore j carrot two equals two x underscore i carrot two plus two x underscore j carrot two x underscore i plus x underscore j carrot two l eq two x underscore i carrot two plus two x underscore j carrot two minus four delta carrot two to zero as i J infinity display style i j to inf t x i display style x underscore i is a Cauchy sequence and so has limit x in k. It is unique since if y is in k and has norm delta, then x minus y two two x Two plus two y two minus 
4 delta 2 equals 0 display style xy caret 2 leq 2 x caret 2 plus 2 y caret 2 minus 4 delta caret 2 equals 0 and x equals y white medium square display style square proof of theorem given disjoint non empty convex sets a b let k equals a plus minus b equals x minus y x element of a y element of b Display style k equals a plus b equals x y mid x in a y in b. Since minus b display style b is convex and the sum of convex sets is convex, k is convex. By the lemma, the closure k display style overline k of k, which is convex, contains a vector v of minimum norm. Since k display style overline k is convex for any n in k, the line segment v plus t n minus v zero t one Display style v plus t and v zero leq t leq one lies in k. Display style overline k. And so v two v plus t n minus v two equals v 2 plus 2 t v n minus v plus t 2 n minus v 2 Display style v carrot two leq v plus t and v carrot two equals v carrot two plus two t langle v and v wrangle plus t carrot two and v carrot two. For zero t one display style zero, we thus have zero two v and minus two v two plus t and minus v two display style zero leq two langle v n wrangle minus two v carrot two plus t n v carrot two and letting t zero display style t to zero gives n v v two display style langle n v wrangle g e q v carrot two. Hence, for any x in A and y in B, we have x minus y v v two display style langle x y v wrangle g q v caret two. Thus, if v is non-zero, the proof is complete since inf x element of a x v v two plus Sup Y element of B Y V Display style INF underscore x in A Langle x V Wrangle G Q V carrot two plus sub underscore Y in B Langle Y V Wrangle more generally, covering the case V equals zero, let us first take the case when the interior of K is non-empty. The interior can be exhausted by non-empty compact convex subsets K N N equals one two Display style K underscore N N equals one two dots. Since zero is not in K, each K 
n display style k underscore n contains a non-zero vector v n display style v underscore n of minimum length and by the argument in the early part we have x v n 0 display style langle x v underscore n wrangle g q 0 for any x element of k n display style x in k underscore n we can normalize the v n display style v underscore n s to have length 1 then the sequence v n display style v underscore n contains a convergent subsequence because the n sphere is compact with limit v which is non-zero we have x v 0 display style langle x v wrangle g q 0 for any x in the interior of k and by continuity the same holds for all x in k we now finish the proof as before. Finally, if k has empty interior, the affine set that it spans has dimension less than that of the whole space. Consequently k is contained in some hyperplane v equals c display style langle c dot v wrangle equals c thus x v c display style langle x v wrangle g q c for all x in k and we finish the proof as before white medium square display style square the number of dimensions must be finite in infinite dimensional spaces there are examples of two closed, convex, disjoint sets which cannot be separated by a closed hyperplane a hyperplane where a continuous linear functional equals some constant even in the weak sense where the inequalities are not strict. The above proof also proves the first version of the theorem mentioned in the lead to see it, note that k in the proof is closed under the hypothesis of the theorem below. Here, the compactness in the hypothesis cannot be relaxed, see an example in the next section. This version of the separation theorem does generalize to infinite dimension, the generalization is more commonly known as the hahn banach separation theorem. We also have This follows from the standard version since the separating hyperplane cannot intersect the interiors of the convex sets. Topic. Converse of theorem Note that the existence of a hyperplane that only separates two convex sets in the weak sense of both inequalities being non-strict obviously does not imply that the two sets are disjoint. Both sets could have points located on the hyperplane. Topic. Counterexamples and uniqueness If one of A or B is not convex, then there are many possible counterexamples. For example, A and B could be concentric circles. A more subtle counterexample is one in which A and B are both closed but neither one is compact. For example, if A is a closed half-plane and B is bounded by one arm of a hyperbola, then there is no strictly separating hyperplane. A equals x y x zero. Display style A equals x y x leq zero. B equals x y x greater than 0 y 1 x display style b equals x y x greater than 0 y g q 1 x although by an instance of the second theorem there is a hyperplane that separates their interiors another type of counterexample has a compact and b open 
For example, A can be a closed square and B can be an open square that touches A. In the first version of the theorem, evidently the separating hyperplane is never unique. In the second version, it may or may not be unique. Technically a separating axis is never unique because it can be translated. In the second version of the theorem, a separating axis can be unique up to translation. Topic: Use in collision detection. The separating axis theorem (SAT) says that Two convex objects do not overlap if there exists a line called axis onto which the two objects' projections do not overlap. SAT suggests an algorithm for testing whether two convex solids intersect or not. Regardless of dimensionality, the separating axis is always a line. For example, in 3D, the space is separated by planes, but the separating axis is perpendicular to the separating plane. The separating axis theorem can be applied for fast collision detection between polygon meshes. Each face's normal or other feature directions is used as a separating axis, as well as the cross products. Note that this yields possible separating axes, not separating lines planes. If the cross products were not used, certain edge-on-edge -edge non-colliding cases would be treated as colliding. For increased efficiency, parallel axes may be calculated as a single axis. Topic. See also Dual cone Farkas's lemma Optimal control equals equals notes